Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to this week's episode of Am I the Asshole? As always, I'm your host, Craig. And today, as we sometimes are, we have been graced by the presence of my co-host and best friend, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> so, I think we got a pretty good one lined up for today. Um, you know, just kind of skimming through some of the stories on Reddit, I, I came across one that I think is going to revolve around that friend. Now, what I mean by that is I, I, I think we all have that friend. You know, that friend that's always on some bullshit, but for some odd reason, they always seem to be guilty of creating their own bullshit. Um, I've had quite a few friends like that in the past, and honestly, I just kind of get tired of hearing the shit. You know, listening to people complain about the problems that they created for themselves. Um, I might be going off on a tangent. I, I didn't actually read this whole story all the way through, so it might not be uh, to that full extent. But, you know, just from the title alone, I, I, I thought this one was going to be pretty good today. So uh, today's story is titled, Am I the Asshole for Refusing to Let My Friend Live With Me After She Got Kicked Out? As always, I haven't actually read this one all the way through yet. Um, I did skim it. Um, I've had to get a little bit better about doing that because I have recorded some videos that by the time I got to the end of the story, it was just fucking stupid or something like that. Definitely not worth making a video over. But through my skimming, I thought this one was pretty good. So, you know, as always, if you do enjoy, don't forget, like and subscribe. So without any further delay, let's jump right into it, shall we? I am an 18 year old female and I'm in a really tough spot and could use some outside perspective. Now I will go ahead and throw out there. I'm not a female and I'm definitely not 18. So my opinion may be a little bit different than some people's in your age group, but Hey, I'll do the best I can. My friend, Emily, who's also an 18 year old female recently got kicked out of her house by her parents and asked if she could move in with me. I said, no. And now I'm wondering if I did the right thing. Mm. Here's some background. Emily and I have been friends since middle school. We've always been pretty close, and she's helped me through some really tough times. That's nice. What are friends for, right? However, Emily has always been a bit of a troublemaker. Mm. Felt it coming. She parties a lot, skips school, and doesn't really take responsibility for her actions. Her parents have warned her multiple times, and I guess they finally had enough and kicked her out. Now, you know, I can't fault Emily too much. I mean, being 18, you know, I mean, I look back at myself at that age and shit, I don't know how, how much I took responsibility for my own actions, but I was never on any type of bullshit that would get me kicked out. But let, let's move on, shall we? When Emily called me, she was in tears and said she had nowhere else to go. She begged me to let her stay with me and my family. The problem is, I still live at home with my parents and younger siblings. My parents are super strict and don't really like Emily because of her behavior. Plus, we don't have a lot of extra space, and I know my parents wouldn't be okay with it. Well, I mean, hold on. Before we even get any further, then it doesn't sound like she had much of a choice anyway. I mean, shit, she's still 18 living with her parents and siblings. Yo, I mean, if her parents said no to Emily coming over anyway, she ain't got a choice. So don't feel too guilty. It's not like you have your own place. I told Emily that I couldn't let her move in and I explained my reasons. She got really upset and said that I was her only friend and that she had nowhere else to go. She accused me of abandoning her when she needed me the most. I felt terrible, but I stood my ground. Real quick, let me just go ahead and throw out there a good job on that. Man, I know a lot of people, you know, they just get pressured and shit and they fold really easily, but... You know, sometimes you just got to, you know, like you said, stand your ground, man. So since then, Emily has been posting on social media about how I betrayed her and how she has no one to rely on. Some of our mutual friends have reached out to me saying that I should help her out because she's in a really bad situation. Now I'm feeling really guilty and wondering if I should have tried harder to convince my parents or found some other way to help her. So, am I the asshole for refusing to let my friend live with me after she got kicked out? Um, glasses are off for this one. Um, hold on. Chloe? What do you think, beauty? Yeah, she may not speak, but uh, she speaks to me. 
Um, no, you're not the asshole. <laughs> like, um, this is a, a life lesson for your friend. You know, like her parents straight kicked her out and warned her to get off her bullshit. And she didn't believe them. She kept up with her shit. Like, that's what happens. Like, you can't just do what you want when there's other hands feeding you. And she straight bit the hands that fed her, man. Like, you know, when you're living under somebody else's roof, you know, especially now that I'm a lot older and I think about myself as a teenager, you know, I was never really much of a partier, you know what I'm saying? Like that probably came a little bit later in life. And I mean, even then I really wasn't much of a partier, but you know, when you're living under somebody else's roof and then causing them problems and shit, like, especially now that I see also how far money goes. And a lot of the times your bullshit will actually, you know, cost money. Like I, I can't have that. And it would be one of those things like, yo, if you keep this shit up, you got to go. And she kept the shit up. So she had to go. Problem is she had nowhere to go. And that's her problem. Like, Hey, if you want to keep up with your bullshit and get kicked out, Hey, be my guest, but you better have somewhere to go. And if you don't, that's on you. That would be on me, wouldn't it? Right. Yeah, that wouldn't be on you. But here you all. go. Like, you can't expect your friends just to open up their door and let you in, especially if they're still living with their fucking parents. Like, I, I, this sounds bad because I guess I'm talking to somebody that is only 18, but grow the fuck up, man. Like, hell, I mean, this situation will probably make you grow up a little bit anyway. So uh, you should probably try your best to learn from this shit. Uh, life ain't necessarily going to get easier. So, um, I know that's kind of short, but I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Ain't really much else to say. Verdict, not the asshole. So as always, if you did enjoy the episode, don't forget like, and subscribe until next time. And as always take care of yourselves out there and peace.